Greetings, welcome to this Unpacking Mathematics Content Standards video well, where you will achieve the following learning objectives. So using a current South Carolina College and Career Ready Math Standard, you should be able to identify cognitive demands and all the essential knowledge needed for students to target particular standards. And at the end of this presentation or lesson, you should be able to create an unpacking standards matrix that will map and link content with literacy and other instructional strategies. So what does the process of unpacking standards involve? Well, we have to identify the cognitive demands. What are the demands that students are going to do cognitively? And in mathematics, a lot of these standards depend on prior knowledge. So what prior knowledge must be connected in order to target the standard? As an instructor, it is also noteworthy to establish clear learning objectives and identify instructional strategies and tools needed to target the standard. So here is an overview of the unpacking standards process. So here is a matrix which has four columns for the particular content standard. Um, we're going to be looking for the verbs in each in a standard and identify those verbs or action statements. We're also going to identify the nouns from the content standard, which are the particulars that are needed to support the action that students are doing. Prior knowledge, we're also going to itemize and list the prior knowledge and prerequisite skills that are needed to master the standards and different instructional strategies and or tools that can be used to support student learning. So those four main components are essential to the unpacking process, finding the verbs, the nouns, prior knowledge and instructional strategies and tools. Here is a standard from Algebra 1 um, from the domain of standards including functions and interpreting functions. And this is the second standard, A1.FIF.2. This standard, students are evaluating functions and interpreting the meaning of expressions involving function notation from a mathematical perspective and in terms of the context when the function describes a real world situation. So let's complete this matrix for this particular standard. First, we want to list the verbs from this particular standard. And if we look at this standard, we will see that evaluate and interpret are some highly cognitive mathematical verbs that students will be doing here. So students should be evaluating the functions at particular points and interpreting the statements. But what does the evaluation and interpreting involves? It involves functions, function notation, real world situations, contextual meaning, mathematical perspectives, and expressions. These are all the necessary components in order for students to perform the action. So these are the nouns from the particular standard. And what would students be able, should know or be able to do before targeting the standards? Of course, they should be able to perform the order of operations, um, perform the arithmetic of real numbers, evaluate algebraic expressions and also numerical expressions using that order of operations process. If we look at instructional strategies, um, one instructional strategy that you could use is actually writing interpretations in sentence form so that students can see the applied context of it. And the graphing calculator will be integral here. And I think that the variables or the VARS key should be accessible to students um, to access or access archived functions and also having students to make use of the table view from a function entered in the graphing menu. So holistically this is a matrix completed with the four components involved in unpacking this particular standard. 
Let's try this again with the second example. This example, uh, or this particular standard, is from geometry. And this standard involves solving right triangles in applied problems using trigonometric ratios and the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so let's take a moment. At this moment, you probably want to pause the video for you to actually find the verbs, the nouns, the required knowledge that should be acquired prior to teaching this standard, and some instructional strategies or tools. Take a moment to pause the video. Now that you have completed your matrix, let's see if um, our answers or our actual components kind of agree. So the verbs here, we see solve and use. Um, even though using is in the gerund form, um, they must use the trigonometric ratios in the Pythagorean theorem. So solve and use. Nouns would be right triangles, applied problems, trig ratios, and Pythagorean theorems. So definitely prior knowledge would be this knowing about the six ratios, um, the six trigonometric ratios, how to solve simple quadratic equations using square roots methods, and applying the Pythagorean theorem. And so I would think um, one instructional strategy, and you might have something different, um, but we now you would have two th different things to consider. Students can definitely write an argument about the best method, whether Pythagorean theorem or the trigonometric ratios are the best method of solving triangles. And if students are using graphing calculators, definitely the inverse trigs key and trigonometric keys and degree and radian mode keys will need to be accessible for students to perform those particular calculations. So we're going to pack up this lesson. Um, just recall the following that prior knowledge is essential to teaching these new standards and we have to think about content and technology um, as far as those particular prerequisites. What are students needed to know how to do with the graphing calculator? What do they need to know mathematically? Content and technology. Also, the verbs that we have identified are particular actions um, that students are engaged in. And the nouns are the particular concepts or details related to the action that students will be performing. The instructional strategies and tools could be a variety. And that is what you want, variety, in order to differentiate the learning process to support student learning. Well, this wraps up our Unpacking Mathematics Content Standards video. So it's now your turn to unpack. Um, your assignment would be to choose three South Carolina College and Career Ready Math Standards from one course of your choice and complete an unpacking matrix with all of the following information that you've seen in the previous two examples. Then share and give Matt Orange rights to your video via Google Docs and, and you may email Matt Owens if you have any questions, comments, or concerns at that email address, mowens at richland2.org. Happy unpacking, and I wish you the success in your teaching and learning.